Hi, I'm Pamela Marshall, and I'm a professor at Arizona State University. My name is Ken Sweat. I'm a plant scientist and educator here at Arizona State University's West Campus. I wanted to talk just a little bit about what eye care is and why we um, decided to do the eye care. What a unique aspect of our unit, our school is, is that not only do we have biology majors, but we historically have had mathematics majors, statistics majors, computing majors. We've added some more majors along the way. So we're very unique in that we're a very integrated school. Well, if you've been paying attention to the research recently in scientific education, and by recently, I really mean the last 20 years, there's been a revolution in how we teach science. We've been really trying to get away from those formulaic, cookbook type labs like you all remember from your own undergraduate days. Cut the potato into four equal squares of one centimeter each, put them into the different solutions, measure the change in weight. This kind of stuff, while technically great, does not inspire students and is especially problematic for students of color and others minorities not traditionally represented in the science fields. And so what we wanted to do was open up the research to all of the students possible in all of the majors. And I've had math majors in my research lab and other majors, but then as we grew and grew and grew, how are we gonna accommodate all the students? So the course-based undergraduate research experience is of course a great way to do that because you can have many more students performing projects all at once. But we didn't wanna just have course-based undergraduate research experiences for the biology majors. We wanted to have them be eye curers, eye standing for interdisciplinary. And so we did this specifically to allow any of the majors in the school to be able to perform um, um, actually laboratory bench research together. Researchers looked at different ways of teaching and what they found is the best way to teach science is to let the students be the scientists. In other words, to put them in charge of asking questions just like scientists do in research. This was really the inspiration for these course-based undergraduate research experiences. It's because we felt like performing research with the undergraduates was real heart of what our project was and really a shining star in what we do here on the west campus of ASU. I like to describe them to my students as a, a little example of what you would have if you were in a graduate program because it literally is in the sense that the student is responsible for building the entire idea of their research project from question and hypothesis to design to execution and collecting of data. All of this being done, of course, under the supervision of the instructing professor as a way to make available to undergraduates research experiences that otherwise wouldn't. 